Hey everybody, Reed at Work Turbo again. I just got off the phone with a customer who had a question regarding his GT47 and whether or not we could upgrade it. The first question I had to ask the customer was, did he know if his turbo was a GT47 or a GTA47? Garrett makes both of them in that family. He didn't know, so I figured I'd do a video real quick on how to identify them to help him out and possibly to help you as well. Garrett built two different uh, turbocharger uh, families or series um, in the GT47 over the years. Uh, the GT47 is what everybody knows it as, and it is the most common in the performance aftermarket. The GT47 is easily identifiable because it will have a hole all the way through the middle of the compressor wheel. You can see the turbine shaft when the wheel is installed. The nut is integral to the compressor wheel. The GT series, like I said, all have a through hole. We call this a threaded bore compressor wheel. The bore has the threads all as one piece. We jump over to a GTA series. And the first thing you'll notice is there's no hole. There's just a machining center. The design has the threads on the back side of the wheel. A lot of people refer this design as the short shaft GT47, but technically this is a GTA series turbocharger. So this is what we call a boreless compressor wheel. There's no bore. Garrett did this for various reasons, uh, trying to eliminate hub burst and diesel applications, um, ease of assembly, uh, better balancing properties. It has a lot of merits, but in the performance world, it's not as popular because with your threads hanging uh, off the back of the wheel like that, sometimes they're not as robust if you push them above and beyond their intended limit. So that is your GTA series, also called a boreless compressor wheel. They make them in all different sizes. This is one for a Caterpillar. Here again, a GTA. Threads are on the back. No bore, no center hole. This is your common Duramax from 2000, basically four all the way to, uh, you know, 2000, well, I guess uh, 2011 is when they stopped it, but they uh, still a GT series, so it has, you know, a through bore with threads, i.e. a threaded bore wheel. Your earlier wheels will all just be a through bore. There'll be no nut cast on the wheel. You'll have the nut separate on the shaft. Obviously, the bore goes all the way through to the back side. So, in short, GTA, machining center or no hole in the middle, short turbine shaft with the thread on the back of a compressor wheel, GT series. Integral shaft nut, threaded bore. I get questions a lot, which one performs better? Uh, there is absolutely zero difference in performance between a GTA 4718 and a GT 4718. They use exactly the same blade design, shape, diameters. Matter of fact, the housings are completely interchangeable. There are just fewer performance parts for the GTA series as a lot of people feel that they weren't as robust. We've used both designs with great success. It just depends on the application. So I hope this helps you identify some of your Garrett GT and GTA series turbos. Look for a lot more tech tips coming your way. Be sure to check out our YouTube channel, Work Turbochargers Official, where we're gonna catalog all of our tech as we build our channel up. Guys, we appreciate you. You got questions, shoot me a message, drop a comment. Looking forward to helping y'all guys out. Hope y'all have a great day.